Hello there folks, hope you're all doing well. Just down here in San Diego County in the city of Del Mar and I couldn't pass up an opportunity to uh, stop by this beautiful coconut and do an update. Um, really, really an amazing specimen here. It's been growing here, I believe since either 2004 or 2006. Uh, uh, either way, for, for you know, not far from uh, uh, 20 years. So this coconut's really a long-term uh, survivor here in California. Um, and uh, really amazing. I made a video on it uh, probably like a year and a half ago or something when I was down here last, my first time in uh, San Diego, is my second time. And uh, it's just really remarkable that this thing is, is growing here. And uh, of course I just wanted to get, stop by and do, do an update on it. Uh, unfortunately, you can see those leaves are looking quite brown and beat up, but the spear looks pretty intact and uh, should open up nicely. And it looks like, you know, the newer spear looks a little healthier in there, um, as you can see. And uh, the reason it's looking so brown, you can see all these pygmy dates in the uh, Bismarck here. But the reason the coconut's looking so brown is uh, because this winter has been, unfortunately, uh, quite quite cold and rainy for uh, by California standards. And it's usually the winters are cool, which uh, are not coconut's favorite conditions, but um, especially this past one all across the state. They've gotten a ton of rain. It's been, uh, you know, considerably below average. Uh, they don't get the same deep freezes, so it's not like they had a freeze or anything, but just overall cooler. And uh, that's what really uh, gets coconuts here. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's looking a lot yellower than last time, but uh, honestly, it shouldn't be too bad. And this is also one of the yellow varieties, so the petioles are always uh, yellow. Uh, so overall, you know, not too bad considering the freeze, and hopefully it grows out of it soon. Um, thankfully, it's got the... Uh, whole warm season ahead of it although you know i mean it's basically always a warm season here but it's got the whole warmer season ahead of it uh and uh, what's so remarkable about this coconut is again california's climate people think uh of course you know uh people associate california with palm trees i think coconuts you know are are just like uh that are the only kind of palm tree people assume of course they can grow in california they must be everywhere but uh, that is not the case the, the palms you see here most commonly mexican fan palm canary island date palm queen palm pygmy date species like that which are from either drier climates or often uh, you know subtropical or or uh, you know some tropical climates but um generally they have some degree of cool tolerance at least the common species that you'll see here coconuts uh, you know 100 percent tropical palm and uh, it really, you won't see it growing, uh, you know, too far out of the tropics, um, commonly at least. And uh, here in California, we are quite a ways north of the tropics. I think we're like 30, uh, I don't know what this is, something like 33 point something degrees north latitude, uh, pretty far up here on the Pacific coast uh, in Del Mar, which is in San Diego County, north of San Diego, and uh, pretty impressive. So the winters here, I mean, even, even the summer here, you know, probably averages like low 70s, but uh, especially because we're right here on the beach, um, literally the ocean's right there. Um, but, uh, you know, the winters here are averaging, you know, considerably cooler highs, probably in the sixties, lows, probably in the upper forties. Um, uh, so quite a cool climate for coconuts. Um, you know, you'll start to see them become more common down in Baja, especially uh, on the Gulf coast side, you know, like in the, in the Northern end of Baja. And then of course, once you go further South, they become a lot more common, but they really like the heat. I'd say the best place for them probably in California, it's probably somewhere between the coast and the desert. Um, you know, there's several, there's like, there's one in Corona, California, which unfortunately was uh, chopped down by the owner. Uh, it happens a lot sometimes, there's, but I think there's probably less than 10 mature coconut palms in the entire state. Um, and of this size, there's probably like one or two. The one in the Quinto may be bigger than this, but that's about it. Really, really incredibly rare uh, palm, uh, and it's pretty remarkable. You know, the most famous coconut was the uh, Newport Beach coconut, which was planted, in, I believe, in 1984 um, after like the uh, owner or the the uh, patron of, of the store. Uh, someone, anyways, brought a coconut uh, from Hawaii in 1984, planted it, and it grew there, and unfortunately died in 2015. Uh, but it was looking great before that. And uh, this one's been here now, uh, gosh, yeah, close to as long as that one. And uh, it's a lot, lot bigger than the Newport Beach coconut I ever got. I mean, let's look at this trunk here. Huge. And it's got this, these um, sort of darker rocks really help to insulate it and provide. I can just feel, I step here, you can really feel the insulation from that. Um, and it's just amazing. This is such a tall palm. Look at this trunk. Crazy, crazy big trunk. And uh, really, really quite remarkable. But as I was saying, I, you know, I think the desert areas are honestly pretty good for them. They could probably get burnt from the crazy heat there. Um, but by the coast, it's just really, really cool here. But, you know, even a bit inland, it gets a lot, a lot warmer, a lot more summer heat. So it's kind of surprising this one has survived for so long right along the ocean um, here in California. But uh, sure enough, it has. And uh, I think, again, this, this uh, stones, which help insulate it, really help. It's a south-facing wall, so it's got some wind protection. But uh, it's kind of, it's a pretty breezy place here, generally. And the last time people were asking, aren't these coconut palms? Because they look, sure do look a lot like them. But uh, these, in fact, are not. These are how we have Forestriana, the Kencha palm, which is all over. I mean, it grows all the way, basically, up the entire California coast, probably into uh, Oregon. And uh, it's, it, it's a 
very coconut, very tropical looking palm, coconut look-alike, but uh, it is native to a cooler climate, Lord Howe Island, uh, off of Australia, and uh, it uh, loves this climate here. In fact, it won't really grow in a place like Florida because it's just too hot and humid, so this is the perfect climate for it, and that's why you'll see it everywhere here in San Diego. Absolutely everywhere, huge ones there, and they're very coconut. Uh, you know, they look a lot like coconuts. They're very beautiful species, but I really do think that coconut just has a certain allure, and uh, there's a reason that people keep trying to, to grow them here in California because it's a pretty remarkable accomplishment here in this uh, cool Mediterranean climate. Uh, really, really crazy um, that this thing's been here for so long. And uh, I know it's not like it's best right now, but hopefully it will uh, grow out of that soon. But uh, yeah, just wanted to do an update after this cool, um, cool, uh, you know, rainy winter. Um, and it's, it's looking kind of like the uh, Roystonia regia up in uh, San Jose in Northern California. You know, both of them are sort of palms growing uh, towards their limits and uh, not looking their best right now, but hopefully it'll grow out of that soon. Hopefully it'll be a little bit of a warmer, less, uh, it's wet winter this uh this coming one so yeah really really impressive palm here pretty amazing take care folks like subscribe for videos stay tuned have a good one i've got a palm growing here over 33 degrees north latitude in del mar california i love that really beautiful